And I've just been really focusing too much negative energy in my life. And, you know, like an analogy that was used is if you put all of your attention and energy into weeds, they're going to grow. The weeds are going to grow. If you put all of your focus into the flowers, the flowers are going to grow. I'm just a weed trying to be a flower. What up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. This is Michael B. Petty. Um, it's been a little bit since I've done this, but I think I'm... It's like riding a bike, right? Like, it's not gonna be that hard to like get back to talking some shit a little bit, right? So... Without further ado, let's just get into this fucking video. Now, everyone has seen Chantel had her epic fucking meltdown last night or the night before, depending on when that, this video gets out. She invoked, um, she decided to talk a little shit about our girl Amberlynn Reed. And I never thought that I would get to a point where I would have to make a video kind of defending Amberlynn Reed. I, by no, I mean, a lot of the shit that she does is indefensible, but the level of hypocrisy that was displayed within 24 hours on Foodie Beauty's channel was fucking astounding to me. She just completely lost, she lost the plot. She has no idea what she's doing, what she's saying. Um, she has no amount of self-awareness anymore and it was just amusing to me that she was able to just go to this low of a depth that I didn't even think was achievable by her. So I felt the need to have a reaction to it and just kind of break down just how fucking stupid this person is and how annoyingly mundane and dumb that this woman can be for some reason i'm at the center of this like controversy this drama people love to bring drama to me um even though i've said i'm done with it i don't know why i'm i'm being involved in drama um i really don't uh like always Chantel Chalupa Barbie thinks that she's always dragged into the middle of controversy. She always thinks that th all of this is not of her doing, of her volition. She had no part in any of what is taking place on her channel or in the community that she is a part of on YouTube. Because the truth is that there's tons and tons of YouTubers, there's tons and tons of videos, and there's tons and tons of different communities and different pockets of people. You don't, I mean, you don't interact with people, some people interact with people, it, that's just how it is. But she somehow thinks that she is a victim in why people react to her or interact with her the way that they do. She thinks that this is all happening to her and this and she has has no blame in any of what is happening around her i think it's fucking laughable considering the fact that at least on my end i didn't really make a video about her until a couple of months ago and before then i didn't have a fucking channel but she's been on this platform for over a year or two years now and she's made the cps video in an email i said to her you know you're gonna threaten me well you know I'm gonna call Child Protective Services on you. And you know what? I stand by that because- She's done other videos of her calling other people out or stirring the pot or doing whatever the fuck she needs to do. I just find it so, it, it numbs my mind that she thinks that she is entitled to her opinion but no one else is entitled to theirs. And she is entitled to say what she wants to say but no one can have a reaction or a retort or, or levy any kind of criticism toward her way. Um, I believe that no one is above reproach. No, criticism is not harassment. Criticism is not cyberbullying. Criticism is not bullying. Um, people have an opinion and they're entitled to them. And you don't have to always agree with them, but guess what? They're there, they exist, and they're not going anywhere. And that's just the fact of life. You know, things I've been doing to really just brighten up my life. Little things that just really help. I've been watching a lot of videos. I figure... You know what? The internet has a plethora of useful information. It also has a variety, a, a huge bank of information that's just, you know, not credible or whatever, but it also has a lot of useful information. Like any good intellectual, she's going to go to the internet to find any good sources of information on what she's dealing with when it comes to her obesity. So let's see what kind of information she finds. Um, I've been watching like white witches <laughs> oh okay so she finds some more pseudoscience of course she this is the thing with Chantel and even Amberlynn and a lot of other people I mean I'm not gonna say that I'm 
I'm, I've not done this before, I don't do this now, but when you have a bias on something, you will go to no end to find a confirmation on that bias. And that's why it's called confirmation bias. So I just, I think it's interesting how instead of looking at peer related journals or looking at academia or I don't know, trying to find something that isn't just some a white witch or whatever the fuck she's looking at on YouTube to help her feel better about herself. Like I understand wanting to feel better about yourself, but it's also to, better to be real with yourself and to look at, to come at things with a more critical lens and not just look at things with your biased rose-colored glasses so you can c feel better about yourself or feel better about your actions. It's always better to like look at places and things and articles of actual intellectual things being said and not just some rando on YouTube who's a white witch. That shit's not even real. I mean, I don't even, I don't know what your denomination is or whatever, but like, it, it's bullshit, okay? Um, it's not going to really do you any good in the long run. Let's look at some fucking hard facts. Let's look at some science. Let's look at some real ass shit to like moving forward, okay? That's my advice to you, Chantel. But yeah, the reaction channel, I mean, at this point, I would, I would say this person is basically like a parasite. So now we get to hear the same levied accusation put against reaction channels or commentary channels that we've heard all along and it's that we're all parasites and we're all it's all bullshit Chantel you're a fucking parasite you're you do the same fucking thing that you claim that we do all the time you're constantly making commentary videos reaction videos and you can't you did it about Eugenia Cooney now you compare you compared you and Amber Lynn to Eugenia Cooney which I don't see I honestly don't see it at all I don't I don't other than the fact that you have some kind of issue with food, there's no comparison. Eugenia Cooney seems like a decent person. She doesn't, she's not going around talking shit about people, calling CPS on people, um, making, f levying accusations against people. She ultimately kind of just lives her life. I haven't really found anything about her where she's going in on someone or going hard on someone. The only thing that people seem to be bothered by is her existence, the fact that she, that found the fact that she has the the balls to make videos on YouTube looking the way she looks and obviously she's dealing from some kind of eating disorder and that's clearly that's clear that's evident but other than that I haven't really seen anyone levy any other kind of accusation against her about her lack her lack of moral fiber her character um, her ethics those are things that we talk about when it comes to you and Amber Lynn all the time about the shit that you do, the shit you pull, the stunts you pull, all of that shit. In my opinion, it's apples and oranges. It's two completely different things. So I think that you claiming that we use your videos or your name to get more views or whatever, it's, yeah, it's true. We do use your name. We do to react to your channel. We do commentate on your life because you put it out there. But let's not pretend that you don't do the same fucking thing. And you've been doing this since before I even had a channel. So get over yourself. Furthermore, you've used Amber Lynn in the past multiple times and you continue to use her. So let's, you are just, you are just a part of this game as we are, as I am. So. I don't understand why you think that you're so above it, that you're so much better than. You do the same fucking thing. Especially like the accusation about me using somebody for views when literally that's what your channel is. It, you've said this on multiple occasions that you're tired of people, you're tired of channels using your name for views. And then two days later, you go around and make a video about Amber Lynn using a mobility scooter. Uh. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this video. I just know it. Um, I'm going to leave the comments open and just whatever, you know. Do you not see how fucking crazy that is? How fucking hypocritical that seems that you're on here complaining about Zachary Michael, complain about me, complain about all the other channels that make videos about you that call out your bullshit. And then you turn around and do the same thing about 
someone who's just like you, you're pretty much the same fucking person, or at least I thought that was until all of this actually started to go down. I never thought that I would get to a day where I thought Amberlynn was actually better than someone else on YouTube, but you've fucking managed to do that. You've honestly managed. You're like, here, Amberlynn, uh, hold my beer, I got this, and you just went fucking balls to the wall with your fucking crazy. Like, despite, despite the fact that obesity is so tough, to fix and food addiction is so tough to fix I mean I've cried about it it's so tough anybody who suffers from that knows how tough it is it's it's just life altering it's it's horrible and and I wouldn't wish it on anybody I wouldn't um, <laughs> but in a way at some point you have to take full responsibility that I find incredibly interesting is that you don't want to give Amber Lynn a pass when it comes to like her actions and the way that she does things and using the mobility scooter and all that stuff but like you want to pass for yourself this part of the world has a very bad relationship with food in general we are addicted to junk food, fast food. It's not just me. And we're spreading it around the world. I think Kuwait is obese now. People in Kuwait, or is it Kuwait? <sighs> Which country is it? I think it's Kuwait. But it might be another country I'm thinking of. But there's another country, there's uh, countries that are, because of this globalization, um, uh, this fast food that's spreading around McDonald's is spreading into countries where normally there wouldn't be fast food and uh, there's obesity rising in other countries and it's just like it's spreading like a disease and while well, it is a disease it's an epidemic right now and it's costing um, the healthcare system uh, you know billions of dollars and it's a problem we, we should be looking at as a society and starting with, uh, you know, on an individual basis, um, it's just so messed up when you really think about it and, and you think, and I'm not blaming any parenting or anything like that because I was given junk as a kid. We reward, we use treats, we use McDonald's, you know, Happy Meal, get the toy. Um, there's a Playland in McDonald's, I, you know, I... It was always a reward to get a McNugget meal at McDonald's and get the Fraggle Rock toy. Um, food is just used in so many wrong ways in, in society and it creates us to become, it causes us to become addicted to food, to have obesity issues that are just so hard to reverse when you're an adult. And it's just, I mean, it just, re it's resorted to people need, there's wait lists for weight loss surgery because people just are so addicted and can't control their eating. And I'm one of them. <laughs> you, know? you think that her, her actions are a direct cause or, or a direct effect of what she's done and the and her eating and everything but you want you blame everyone else when it comes to why you're fat it's society's fault when it comes to your why you're fat it's mcdonald's fault when it comes to why you're fat it's capitalism's fault when it comes to why you're fat it's because you were raised to be fat because you rewarded with mcdonald's or whatever i think that that's extremely hypocritical that you can put those excuses on yourself and your lifestyle, but you're not willing to extend those to Amberlynn because it's clear as day Amberlynn's been through some fucking shit. You think that you're entitled to all of these passes, but you're not willing to extend those to her. And that's, I don't understand that. I don't understand how you can make that, that leap of logic, how you can think that it's okay for you, but not okay for others. Also, I'm tired of you going on here and exclaiming that like, if you're fat, you must be addicted to food. That's not the case. Not everyone that is fat is addicted to food. Some people have poor eating habits. And also, weight loss surgery isn't the cure for food addiction. It never is, it's never going to be. Um, I still have to deal with what I eat and what I don't eat. Like, it's it because you get weight loss surgery doesn't mean you're automatically cured of being fat. That's not how that works and the study show that 
if you get weight loss surgery and you don't work actively at it all the time, you can gain the weight right back. So I'm so tired of you spouting out this misinformation that like it's the cure, like it's the be all end all or whatever, and that it's so dangerous and it's so extreme and blah, blah, blah. Like, bitch, it's extreme that you're doing a, a week long water fast. Like it's extreme that you think that white witches are real. Like that's fucking extreme, but you don't think science is extreme? Like, girl, bye. So all that to say, I was checking in on YouTuber, um, Amberlynn Reed, and I'm sorry, Amberlynn, I don't want to start a war with you. I don't want to be one of those people who makes video after video after video about you. Um, and kind of understand people voicing their opinions now because it's just, it's almost like, I, I saw your video today and your like weight loss update. Um, anyway, so then you what really annoyed me was seeing you on the cart. Like you were like, like you were like doing it on purpose, you know, to like get people to ooh and ah. I'm also annoyed with your cowardice when it comes to y your commentating on other people. You say YouTuber, like it's like a bad word or something. Like, bitch, just say the name. If you have the balls to get on here and make the video, which you clearly fucking don't, say the fucking name. Say your, say the name louder. But say, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about this person. Like, I don't understand why you're so willing to call people out, but then you're afraid to say the name. Like, they're gonna, like, it's Voldemort. Like, we're just gonna pop up out of nowhere in your living room or whatever and see you scarfing down four Arby's beef and cheddars. Like, get over yourself. If you're gonna have the balls to make the video, have the balls to say the name. So, I think it's extremely cute that you think that you're annoyed by Amberlynn being happy or excited about being on the mobility scooter. I don't think it really has anything to do with her being excited about being on the mobility scooter. Yes, she's a troll. Yes, she's using those shots because it gives her more views. But obviously, she's excited about getting food at Walmart, which is no different than you sitting in your car at a McDonald's parking lot or at a fucking Arby's parking lot, excited about the food you're gonna eat or sitting in front of a giant pizza, hee hee ha ha about how you're excited to eat this food. There's no difference in that. I don't see a difference in that. Yeah. <laughs> Knowing you messaged me before, I'm not gonna like go and say all of these things that we message each other about. We didn't really message each other very often. Um, it wasn't anything serious, maybe just bitching about trolls once in a while or whatever, you know? But there was a time when you were like, I really don't know why people think I'm copying you because I, when I first started a weight loss journey, on my channel because I started by pigging out on junk food so I know that that's you know but you messaged me and and people were like oh you're you know you're uh Amberlynn's copying Chantal I remember seeing comments like that and you said I don't know why people think you're co I'm copying you I'm the one who started a weight loss channel three years ago but and I I know that I haven't really lost any weight um, I haven't gained a hundred pounds. Like I thought, it all really ultimately comes down to jealousy. I think deep down that you are annoyed that Amberlynn is far more successful when it, successful, I'm gonna put that in quotes, to when it comes to YouTube and she's able to sustain a lifestyle that you want. I think that deep down inside, you wanna be able to go to Cheesecake Factory three times a day. I think deep down inside, you wish that you could eat out as much as she does. I think it really all comes down to the fact that you don't get the attention that she gets and that bothers you and you're jealous of her, like the whole, she, she, she messaged me, I don't want to get into the messages, but I'm going to get into the messages, bitch, then, then show up the receipts, throw up the fucking receipts, if you're going to talk about it, just throw them the fuck up, why pretend that you're better than, or you're, like, it's so stupid, it's so stupid. Um, from person to person, somebody who has a disabled relative, um, it just really burns my ass to see that. So I. It's funny how you're so upset that Amberlynn is using the mobility scooter because it's going to take away from your disabled grandmother. Um, hypothetically, if you went to the Walmart in Canada, somehow Amberlynn using the mobility scooter in Kentucky is taking that away from someone. The truth is that Amberlynn Reed is disabled now. Like, the, it's sad. I, I think it's sad that a 27-year-old woman is using a mobility scooter hands fucking down. It's fucking sad. But the truth is that 
the bitch can't walk anymore. She can't. She cannot walk anymore. She is bed bound. If you watch her vlogs, she's not she's not walking really anywhere. So, I, I mean, I think that like she should use the scooter, but I also think that she should walk a little bit, and then when she's tired, then to use the scooter. She should at least try. She should make the attempt to walk around first. I love that because you have a disabled relative, you feel as though that gives you more credence into criticizing Amber Lynn for using a mobility scooter. Girl, bye. You're one. You're like one Big Mac away from being in that same situation. And, I mean, I hope that you don't get there, but judging by how you're looking, you're looking real rough, girl. You're looking real fucking rough. You're looking like you're scarfing down, binge eating all night long. You've got fucking stains on the sides of your mouths from whatever the fuck you're eating, whatever beef and cheddars you're eating at night. Like, you really need to slow your fucking roll when it comes to this shit. Now, she goes on this big old thing about how she's gonna quit YouTube, but we all knew that wasn't gonna happen because the money's too good and and to be frank, the only skill set that Chantal really has is um, eating on camera and YouTube. That's all, that's all she has. She has nothing else really going on in her life right now. So for her to think that she's going to quit you, I, you know, what? if she's going to quit YouTube, delete your channel. I've, I don't, I don't want to see any other, I, and that goes for all YouTubers. If you're just going to quit fucking YouTube, I don't need a video about why you're quitting YouTube. Just delete your fucking channel. Just be done with it. Like, we don't need to see your video because we know you're not going to quit. Once again... She pretends like she's going to quit, and then she comes back later that night within, like, four hours and talks about how she's going nowhere and she's here to stay. And how, of course, she watched Peter Mon's video about how she's so tired of cancel culture. I'm always on the fence about whether or not I should really take a long break from YouTube. Because when you're not in a good mental place, the environment of YouTube can be very toxic. There's a lot of toxic people. That stupid fly. <laughs> There's a lot of um, toxic people and yes I give attention to it so it's like putting oxygen on the fire. I understand that but at the same time I'm just a person sharing my life and um, nobody, I mean we're, we're creators, we're human beings, you know we have feelings, we have imperfect lives I was watching a, a video by Peter Mon and he really nailed it. He said, our society has become, and the YouTube community has become one of wanting to cancel people. And she's tired of people coming at her and being so aggressive and being so toxic because, you know, she plays no part in the toxicity of YouTube. She's just a little angel sitting there by herself. You know what? Peter Mon didn't have a problem with cancel culture until it became a problem for himself, until everyone dug up his shit. And then now he and now he's upset about it. Now he feels a type of way about it. But he had no problem exposing Laura Lee, exposing Manny MUA, doing all those videos. But now that it directly affects him, now he's got a problem with it, which is very much like you. Like, you had no issue with trying to say that, like, trying to get Zach off of YouTube and all this shit. But now that, like, people are starting to see you for who you really are, now you're concerned about it. Now, but, but of course you're going to go and seek out more confirming, confirming viewpoints that will help your bias. Because that's what you do. That's your MO. That's how you work. That's how you operate. I think that my biggest problem with Chantel is the fact that she is a coward at the end of the day. She's such a fucking coward. She'll go on here and say these things and then take them back, put the videos to private, delete comments, delete likes and dislikes. Um, she she can't even be bothered to really have an open dialogue with people on any kind of real level. And I think that's why channels like mine exist. And people have been doing this forever. This is how we, on YouTube at least, this is how you interact with someone else on on youtube if you have a, a differing opinion or if you have a if you have an opinion that supports them you get on here and you make a video and you just you address it that's how it works that's how it's worked for however long youtube's been around i think that her being so lax in her convictions is ultimately why she cannot lose weight she cannot set her mind to something and just stick to it and i'm not saying that like if you have an opinion on something you should stay hard fast to it regardless of how it of what it is but i distrust anyone that has no kind of ethics or any kind of like strength in any of their convictions because it they waver at any given moment they move with the wind it doesn't matter um how they have no real thought they have no real feeling it's whatever they think is going to garner them the most support and love at that given moment and i don't fuck with people on any kind of level that are like that i want to know where you stand what you feel like or what you feel about this and and so forth i ultimately think that's why she's not going to be successful in her weight losses because she can't stick to anything she can't 
she can't back up what she has to say, and she's refu she refuses to even argue why she thinks she's right. Because she knows deep down in inside she doesn't really, A, have the debate skills, and B, she's not, she's not knowledgeable enough to, like, to hold those convictions. So she just lets them, she, she, that's why she deletes her videos, that's why she deletes everything in her, like, anything that doesn't go exactly how she plans, she just fucking gets rid of it. Because it's out of sight, out of mind for her. Kind of like when she eats the food, it's out of sight, so it never happened, apparently. I just wanted to make a video discussing the bullshit that is Chantel and just how cowardly I feel she is and honestly I don't really have it in me to do another one of these anytime soon but fuck I'm not gonna say it's ne never say never right because god forbid dude she could do something even crazier than the shit she's doing right now so I don't know until next time thank you all so much for watching um follow me on twitter and instagram at michael b petty I'm going to be having a p.o box here soon I just need to go and do the uh verification of id and I will get that posted soon, so you can send me all of the cool artwork and everything that you guys have been wanting to send me. Um, thank you all so much for tuning in. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, toodles!